With Xbox recently putting NBA 2K20 on Game Pass, we got some new ballers in our midst. So with that, I'm going to go over the top 5 shooting badges you must have for your my player in NBA 2K20. Alright, let's get it. The first one, and as the name suggests, is why it's not higher is you must equip the catch and shoot badge. It's 5 on the list because it benefits off ball guys the most, boosting the amount of greens guys with 93 point rate can get around 12% from no badge to Hall of Fame catch and shoot. If you're a main ball handler, you can still opt for a lower version of this badge. Coming in at 4 is Range Extender. The renamed Limitless Range badge is a very necessary badge to unlock your full potential as a shooter, being able to splash from near half court causing your defender to guard you further out. It's valuable to both good and bad 3 point shooters, as having just a 73 point rating, your normal range 3 point percentage will jump up to around 11% from no badge to Hall of Fame. But it shines the most obviously from further out, where the green percentage and make percentage both jump more than 20%. So it's definitely beneficial for my struggle 3 point shooters out there. While a 93 point rating gives you a mere 5% make percentage increase from no badge to Hall of Fame shooting standard threes, but receives a huge 17% increase on deep range threes. So it benefits both struggle shooters and snipers almost equally from deep range, but helps the poor 3 point shooters from regular distance as well, making it a very essential badge. At 3 is Hot Zone Hunter. This is a good one because if you're able to actually establish hot zones on the court, this badge is always on and it makes it harder for you to clank it if you're in one of your spots. While also increasing your make percentage from 15 to 20% from team no badge to hall of fame level depending on your 3 point rating. At 2 is dead out. Now we all need a little help sometimes, you ever misjudge how close the defender is closing out? You're facing a Kawhi Leonard Dennis Rodman clone? Well then you're gonna need to splash it in somebody's face. Excuse the reference. And the Deadeye badge is gonna help you with that. Helping the poor shooters who can still time their shot increase their green percentage up to 14% of their shots compared to zero without the badge. And for great shooters, the boost you get from this badge is huge as well. And the number one shooting badge you should have in NBA 2K20 is Quick Draw. With the nerf jump shot speeds took from 2K19 to 20, this has become another essential badge for you to equip to get your shot off against incoming defenders. But the level at which you put quick draw on depends on the speed of your jumper, which you can check out some of the best jumpers used video we did, link in the description. Because a bronze, let's say Earl Boykin's jumper can still be faster than a Hall of Fame Eric Snow one fans. It's definitely something you should play around with and find one you're most comfortable using. And with that, hope I was able to help you guys out new to NBA 2K20 or even those who are switching to more of a shooter type my play. And let me know in the comments down below what has been some of your favorite shooting badges so far this year. And if you liked the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And once you're with us, hit that bell icon at the bottom so you don't miss anything we put out. Alright people, I'm Chris from Sports Gamers Online. Thank you all for watching and be good y'all.